story time. I hope you had a great week off. Um, today we're in the kitchen. What's going on? Um, yeah, stay tuned to find out. See ya. Lettuce? Lettuce. Check. Milk? Check. Hot dog buns? Hot dog buns. Check. Oreos? I ate most of them. I'll add more to our list. I think that's all the groceries we'll need to buy today. This is a really long list. What if we just pray and ask God to deliver them all right to our front door? Yeah, that's not how we use prayer. You know, I think there's a Bible story that can help us again this week. More Beatitudes? <laughs> not this time. <laughs> Though, Jesus and the disciples had been working hard, as usual. Teaching and learning and healing and praying? Right. I'm exhausted again. You need to help with this Bible story so I can take a nap. No naps. But we can use your help. First, imagine you're in a huge crowd. People as far as the eye can see. That feels really strange right now. I'm going to have to use a lot of imagination. Everyone wants to hear Jesus talk, so they crowd even closer. All this imagining is making me very hungry. Are you getting hungry too? Perfect! Perfect? What do you mean? Everyone had been listening so long and so hard to Jesus that they were all getting hungry. What do you think the disciples wanted to eat? Order pizza? Uh, no. They wanted to send people home for dinner. Gotcha. Okay, everybody, it's been fun, but I have to go make a sandwich. I'll see you next week. See ya. No, 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 no. The disciples wanted to send people away, but Jesus had a different idea. Pizza! No. He sent the disciples into the crowd to see what food they could find. Quick. Look around your home and see how much food you can find in 10 seconds. You don't need to take it. You just have to see what you can find. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's go. Okay, 